Hello everybody, it's Henry Weeder Man. So what I'm doing now is I'm getting set up to put bearings on a MS-271 in steel. So what I do, let's walk over here, is I have a refrigerator freezer in my garage. Or my workshop, I should say. And the 271 crank has been in here chilling. This is the 271. And you can see it's starting to frost up. I had this, I put this one in last night because I got the bearings in yesterday. And I'm gonna put this in my vise. Now I clamp down on the shafts, so you don't need to worry about it. I haven't had any issues. It's so hardened and this vise has no jaw power to bite and strip. So now I'm gonna flip you around. Sorry, which you a good view. I got my heat gun set up. I got my shaft, it's frozen. I'm going to pick up my bearing with my vice, my needle nose, and for about a minute, pops if you have it plugged in, right? One second, folks. I have, a, I have a friend that likes to organize my stuff for me. Let's just leave it as that. Just me some kind of confused. All right, so I'm gonna heat up my center of my bearing. And that, trust me, that thing's hot. And what I'm gonna do it, I'm watching the clock here on the video. I'm not trying to cook it and make the grease to 30 per grease or something. And you gotta also make sure the bearings face in the right direction. Some of them have a specific direction they gotta go on. This one here has a, a, a plastic race on one side. And I'm not trying to melt that or smoke it. I'm just trying to get it hot enough where I can slide it right on, right? So it should be enough, so let's see what happens. Cross your fingers. Look at that. That bearing went right on. Now, I don't want to heat the transfer because let me tell you something. This heat gun makes that stuff so hot, so quick, it'll transfer fast, and then I may not get a second bearing, but let's give it a shot. I'll make sure I got it right. So this particular bearing has a little plastic race on it, and one side don't. That goes, that goes towards the, the crank. That goes away from it. And if you do don't get it on there and you do have problems, uh, your good old trusty bearing pullers. And the heat's coming out of there, and it don't take much, in about 30 seconds. At least with a heat gun. I don't use a torch. Use a heat gun. Yeah, I think we got it. And it should slow. Come on. See? Oh, goodness. Take it back off. I might have ran out of time just a little bit. Let's try it again. It's not always perfect. Put some heat back up on it. All right, now come on now. And there we go. And sometimes just a little bit of persuasion. I have a perfect socket for that. make sure she's down. Not too bad. That was pretty slick. So I got two done. Look at that. No damage to anything. Device didn't hurt nothing. I, I have not yet scraped a, a shaft or ruined the seal area. So you can feel the heat. This thing got, it was frozen and it's on thawed real quick. So there we go. MS-271 bearings on both sides in one shot. So not a bad gig. Okay. All right, Henry Weeder Man out. I hope this helps somebody. It always helps me, and uh, I like sharing information. So everybody have a good weekend.